I'm a remix artist who likes to poke fun at consumerism. Most of my work is interactive, and some test the boundaries of societal norms. I tagged every Walmart and Target in my area with these questions. I know it's against store policy, but I consider what I'm doing a public service. Sneaking my art onto the shelves was a really fun way to protest inside the store. I even got a review in the newspaper. My Chuck Close filter was a little more controversial. I dissected several of his paintings into thousands of tiles, and then my filter could rearrange the blocks to look like any image. Chuck Close said my project was jeopardizing his career, and he asked me to take the website down. I believe my filter is fair use, and I defended my position on hyperallergic and in a TED talk. I've embraced computer technology to explore innovative ways to create an image. I know what you need, a slug of bourbon. Thanks for the drink. I found every time Marilyn Monroe walked through a door, and when you scan a barcode, it plays a scene from that DVD. Come on, that governor's waiting. There's a video projector behind the print that tracks the scanner with a red line. I enjoy deconstructing icons and allowing the audience to play with the pieces. Sugar, you're gonna get yourself into a lot of trouble. No, no, don't say another word. This is a self-portrait in which I'm represented by the foods I eat. I hand-painted each individual barcode. In addition, I developed an app which is used to scan the barcodes and will play videos of me eating, drinking, and talking about the products. As if this needed any introduction, this is sriracha chili sauce. Corona light beer. Mom's spaghetti sauce. This project underscores the link between identity and consumption in a world increasingly dominated by big data. The size and number of paintings pays deliberate homage to Andy Warhol's Campbell's Soup series. Roy Lichtenstein was also influential to me as I created my barcode halftone. I use this black and white icon to explore a variety of topics, from copyright and religion, to individual identity and consumption. I made a portrait of my friend who has an eating disorder using the barcodes from junk food sheet as a child. I created a custom Power of 10 flipbook which zooms into the Skowhegan offices in New York City. I made this thousand page flipbook for the Los Angeles Art Book Fair. They love you, man. Don't throw this away. Uh -huh. Don't do this. They love you. Uh -huh. Don't do it, OJ. It's going to work itself out. And finally, I'm assisting an independent journalist make a documentary about two men that were wrongfully convicted and have spent the last 44 years in prison, less than an hour away from where I live. <laughs>